Hi, my name is Seth Wenzel. I'm a corn and soybean grower uh, located in northwestern Illinois. We have been strip tilling uh, on our farm for approximately six years now. Uh, behind us is our current main planting setup. Uh, it's a John Deere 24 row exact emerge planter uh, being pulled by a Case IH 470 row track. Uh, we're using Ag Leader uh, in command displays for steering as well as product control. Uh, to control the planter, we're running a John Deere GS3. Uh, we've been strip tilling again for about six years now. Uh, we're running RTK guidance equipment uh, on all of our equipment. Uh, for strip tilling, our main rig is a uh, DB60 Bauer built bar, uh, currently set up with Red Ball strip till units. Uh, we're using an ANH3 Equiply system uh, for the anhydrous ammonia uh, application system. So that's a, our main setup. Uh, behind us, the planter, uh, we're currently doing in furrow starter fertilizer as well as 2x2 two two, uh, for 32%. Both those products are being controlled with the Ag Leader system um, as well as a Surefire Ag starter system. Uh, we run mainly John Deere equipment, mainly because we have uh, three dealers locally that provide good, good parts, sales, and services. Uh, but as you can see behind me, there's also a red tractor here. Uh, it's set up uh, with 18-inch tracks uh, that we're doing uh, for strip tilling. Some of the challenges has been integration, uh, but with some aftermarket wiring, uh, some ingenuity, we're able to kind of marry everything together. Uh, for example, this planter has to be controlled with the John Deere GS3. And in order to properly do that, we're actually running some harnessing uh, from Ag Express that bypasses uh, the Case IH ISO line. So right now, the planter itself is being run completely by John Deere, uh, totally separate from the Case IH ISO bus uh, system. Uh, and then as far as integration with multiple colors, we work mainly with Ag Leader, uh, mainly because it integrates with all brands, makes and models of equipment. Um, so that's another uh, product that we work with and do a lot of work with. The one thing we're trying this year, in the past, we were, uh, for our planter setup, we were doing, uh, putting starter for 32%, um, basically two by zero, we were squirting it out back down on the row. Now we're actually doing a true uh, two by two starter setup on the planter itself. As far as strip tilling is concerned, uh, we are running Red Ball units, which people may be aware Red Ball is no longer in business, so we know at some point in time uh, we will no longer be able to get parts for those row units and they will wear out. So looking to the future, we will have to invest in uh, some different row units and possibly a different bar.